Democrats who are saying, well, we need this to happen, though, because it'll finally take him out of contention. No. Uh, there is no law, no legal basis for an indictment or even a conviction to keep somebody from running for president. And if they wanted to add it, uh, there's pretty strong Supreme Court precedent that Congress should not add any uh, limitations or additional conditions on being president. Well, so it's not going to take him out of the race. The only way that they could prevent him from running is if they can prove that he actually fought in the Civil War against the North. There are three criteria for president. That's it. 35, he's 35, born in the United States. He was born in the United States, and he didn't fight in the Civil War against the North. He can run from prison the way Mayor Curley did, and he could win, and he can govern from prison. It's unlike Israel, where they're trying to get Netanyahu not to be able to run, because there is a statute saying if you're convicted of a crime of moral turpitude, you can't be the prime minister. There is no such constitutional provision. Well, we are learning that the Manhattan DA's office has asked for a meeting with law enforcement ahead of a potential Trump indictment. This is coming to Fox News from a source in the courts. The meeting, which was requested yesterday and has not been set yet, is to discuss logistics for some time next week, which would mean that they are anticipating an indictment next week. The same source who's familiar with the planning said they will go over security preparations in and around the courthouse in lower Manhattan. Secret Service will take the lead in what they will allow or will not allow. The source cautioned, mentioning, for instance, that the decision to handcuff the president, a former president. Wow. Wow. May get arrested, may be handcuffed if they get the indictment next week. Wow. President or not. They will set the tone and will escort him into the courtroom. There will be coordination between all of us, the source said, but we will defer to the Secret Service. The battle will be, be between Secret Service and DA Alvin Bragg. They will decide how and when he'll get into the building and they are not going to leave him. The source believes that the former president will still have to be fingerprinted and processed like every other defendant. So um, there are no exceptions. There are no exceptions with basic jail procedures, but for a president, a former president and a possible future president to be arrested and governed from prison. This is a huge development. If Alvin Bragg has decided to go ahead with a felony indictment of the former president, this was a, a charge that the federal officials refused to prosecute on or even really pursue. Uh, this was a misdemeanor in New York that Alvin Bragg has decided to elevate to a felony while at the same time downgrading other felonies to misdemeanors. So we'll be watching this to see how it all unfolds to get more information as it comes in. Sandra? Get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. So apparently from what we've been listening to, former President Donald Trump may be indicted next week. The district attorney's office in New York has already scheduled an appointment to meet with the Secret Service so they can come up with whatever parameters can be agreed upon. Should they indict President Trump? If they do indict him, do you guys believe that he will be handcuffed? Keep in mind that it would please. It would satisfy a lot of Americans who don't like Donald Trump to see him in handcuffs. I really believe for any president to be handcuffed, it is not a good symbol to send to all world leaders. It's just not a good look. Um, wow, this is big news. Very big news. Um, hopefully they don't indict. Um, depending upon what the information is, maybe things can be worked out. But then again, I just think that I just think that more than likely they're going to try and make an example out of this. Now, if something wrong took place, which a lot of people believe did and a lot of people believe did not. It goes both ways. We definitely need to see the information. We definitely need to see the facts. We definitely need to see what is being discussed, because to be honest with you, you see what happened in that Georgia investigation. That Georgia investigation with the four person who was apparently excited just to simply interview and question 
or swear in, I can't say question, but swear in former President Trump. Did the grand jury recommend an indictment of former President Trump? I'm not going to speak on exact indictments. Would we be surprised? Are there bombshells of who is I being don't recommended think, for indictment? I don't think that there are any giant plot twists coming. I don't think that there are any, like, giant... That's not the way I expected this to go at all. Mm. I, I don't think that's in store for anyone. So nothing that would surprise people who have been following this? Uh, probably not. Um, I wouldn't want to characterize anyone else's reaction, of course. But, so that was one we heard a lot in testimony. Um, but probably not. It probably wouldn't shock you. I would not expect you to be too shocked, no. And that includes of the former president, potentially? Potentially, it might. You already know that that investigation was swayed. Now, is the same thing happening in New York? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Most of that information is held from the public, and we probably will see some information come out next week. Just stay tapped into the channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you like this video. Share this content with other people that you know would be interested in this channel. Get in the comment section. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think former President Trump will be indicted? Do you believe that he will be handcuffed if indicted? Do you believe that he will just be escorted out of the public view to save the country from any type of embarrassment that would come with seeing a former president or a current president, should he be elected, arrested, and possibly jail, governing from jail, is a possibility. It is. We heard that. It is definitely a possibility. Um, man, Trump has a huge following. Stay tapped into the channel. I will catch you on the next one.